Well, 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 everybody, I am way in over my head. I have got too much to do and not enough time to do it. Welcome back, everybody, to episode two of my Minecraft Solo Survival series. I am really happy to be here right now, and I'm really looking forward to what we've got going on in this episode. But before we get into it, I think we should go say hello to Larry and Gary, because I think they get lonely over here. What's up, boys? I don't think they like me. So what are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, as you may have seen from the title, I am going to be making myself a villager trading hall. And this is going to take a lot of work, but I am so psyched to do it because it means I can get fully decked out with gear. But I've got something else I might want to be doing first outside because I want this to be passively going while I'm making this hall. And this is something that I've been needing to be doing for a while now. I've been too busy building and stuff, so I haven't gotten around to it. But that would be, as you can see here, we've got all of our crops, every everything we've gathered up this far. And I am going to be making myself a little farm over yonder. You can't really see it because the wall is blocking it, but we're going to be making it over there. And in order to do that, I'm thinking we're going to have to take down all these trees. And that is going to take a little minute, so we're just going to do that quick and we'll be back. All right, so I've just finished and... Talk about deforestation, everybody. <laughs> you remember that giant forest that was here a little bit ago that I um, planted all myself? Yeah, well, it's um, it's all gone now. But that does mean we finally have space for all of our farms. I didn't really need to get rid of these trees over here, but I figured if I was going to get rid of this giant forest over here anyway, I might as well. So, yeah. Within the next few episodes, I'm planning on turning this little area here all around this area into somewhat of a, a birch forest kind of thing but of course i'm gonna have my own custom trees i'm not gonna just you know do a plant a sapling and just watch it grow but for now in this area i'm gonna be planting all of these wonderful crops because i need to get these growing while i'm working on my villager trading hall which just so happens to be right over there and i don't think you can see it i, I haven't of course I, I haven't made it yet but that's where the village is before we do all those crops though i'm gonna need to you know take all of this stuff right here and put this up in my storage area we're getting a pretty good collection of leaves and birch logs because i am going to be turning this area into a birch forest later so that's that's why we harvested all this and because i need the space um we're gonna go to bed again. You know, I really want to bring a bed with me, but I'm just afraid to do that because I'm afraid I'm gonna die after losing my spawn point, and then, and then bad things bad things happen when you have to go all the way back to spawn. You 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 don't you don't like traveling that far is not fun. I, let me tell you what I would know. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into this time lapse where I'm gonna be turning all of this area into farmland, and I'm gonna go strip mining for a little bit because I do have a Fortune three pickaxe. I did a little bit of trading with one villager because I wanted Fortune three so I could get full diamond. And we are gonna, we are gonna be going and doing that. So, here we go in three, two, one. That was quite the unpleasant way to end my mining session, but if you guys didn't see what happened there, I went up this waterfall right here to, to try and, you know, try and save myself from dying to all the mobs that were down here, because let me tell you what, there was a lot, and uh, Mr. Sniper Skeleton was up there somewhere, and he just, I, I had no clue that he, there would have been a skeleton up there, but he shot me down, and I got all my stuff, though none of them, none of it flowed down there into the lava, so we're all good on that, but uh, that was an odd way of the game telling me I guess that I need to be done mining but overall we ended up getting 41 diamonds from this not including around I, I think I got like 15 left at the base so that's like I don't know 56 something so we, we got enough for armor so um that's good if we go up this water stream though I'd like to show you guys something that I found that I think is actually quite 
it's quite a coincidence. On my way down here, jumping down into this water, I did notice... Where is it? It's somewhat... Oh. I was lucky. And I find it kind of funny that I can't find it anymore, but right? It was somewhere over here. Oh. I'm dead. <sighs> this is this is just how life goes, isn't it? Well, actually, this is good to show you guys how I actually even got down there. But I go from this water here all the way down to here. And then if I go... Yeah, there's a mine shaft over there. But if I go across over to here, here is this little ravine that we had. And I died just down there somewhere. But if I can find it... There it is, right there. Right there, I see a little bit of mossy cobblestone, and I see some cobblestone. So it means we've got a spawner, and I'd like to see what that is. Yeah, we're going to go see that in a minute. First, I've got to get down there without dying. Like a boss. Oh, man. My stuff is everywhere. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, this, this just goes to show how much I need diamond armor. That is the second time I've died <laughs> in, in a little bit of time. But, yeah, oh, th this is very... Ooh. My stuff is breaking everywhere. I I'm just like that one person who has all of this old stuff from like 200 years ago and I'm still holding on to it and it's just crumbling and everyone's like, dude, you should get something new. And I'm just like, no. Ow! Which level is this on? I'm getting so confused right now. I can't even remember which side it was on. There it is, right over there. Okay. Oh, it's a skeleton spawner. Okay, that is just what I hope for. So this means... This means... <laughs> this means we can get infinite xp and we can get infinite bone meal and infinite arrows so that'll be that'll be nice to have but, oh we got a name tag <gasps> you know what i'm thinking i'm gonna have to screenshot this because i will come back here in the next couple of episodes because i am really looking forward to having lots of bone meal bone meal bone meal is one of those things that just gets you so many other things that are nice to have like you can have tree farms and you can have crops and you can you can you can just have just about anything if you have infinite bone meal. So that is going to be a very a very helpful tool to have. But it is going to feel great to get out of these caves because I've been in this dark and lonely place for too long. And where do I act? Why is there a drowned? Why is there a drowned down here? Okay, everyone, we're back at the base, and as you can see, we've got the farm done. And even though I had said I was planning on making it over there, I just had a change of heart, so now it's on this side. This little, um, I actually didn't have a... Okay, I need to sleep first before I keep talking, because this is a little bit too dangerous, especially, especially around my build. As I was saying earlier, I did not have a design for this thing planned out. I just kind of started doing it, but I just started placing slabs around the outsides of it, outlining the, the fields, and I figured, I mean, I kind of like the circle pattern, so I just put a little pond in the middle. And ow, I think it looks, I think it looks really nice this way. Where is, I, I, I see you in there. Don't think I don't see you. There we go. Overall, I think it looks pretty nice and I didn't do anything. I didn't do much with the pond yet. I was thinking of maybe putting a tree in here later in the middle, but we'll just, we'll just figure that out later. That's, this was not what I was meant to be doing this episode. But this is just kind of a side thing. So, well, I guess everybody I had a little bit more diamonds than I thought. Now I've got a stack and seven. So the first thing we're going to be doing before we get onto that trading hall is making ourselves a wonderful set of diamond armor. And this is going to be, this is going to be very, very nice to have. Here we go. We can just kind of toss you guys out and boom. That is much better. I already feel... Like, I am less likely to die. But I also think I would like a diamond sword because I feel kind of poor with that iron one. And there we go. We are fully decked out with diamond armor, and I don't think we're going to be running out anytime soon because I've got 45 left. So, we are good. I'm not going to bother enchanting any of this stuff yet because, I, as you know, my, I lost all of my levels. And if I'm being honest, I, I would rather just use the trading hall instead of wasting all my time grinding for levels. So yeah. Now I also did have a change of heart about one other thing, and that is going to be I don't want to have to walk all the way over there to that village every time I want to trade. So we're going to be making our trading hall over here, and like the like the farm, I don't have a design for that either. We're just kind of going to go with the flow, I guess. You know, that might not turn out well in the end, but I mean, it's a trading hall. How, how bad can it be? Yeah, we're going to be using rails and minecarts for that, and I was thinking instead of using powered rails 
we would try and use a furnace in a minecart minecart furnace thing. I've never actually used this mechanic, and I think all you have to do is add coal. I'm not sh I'm not sure about that. Hopefully, if we do this right, hopefully none of them are gonna die because when villagers enter minecarts, they just have a tendency to just drop dead, and I am going the complete wrong way. Okay, so we're at the village, and I'm gonna want a decent amount of villagers, so hopefully we can just wait for all of them to come out. But I'm feeling that this is the most central spot that they're normally at. That's where I saw all of them earlier. So we're going to kind of just start... Oh, I can't place it there? Okay. We're going to kind of just start laying these tracks all the way over to my base. And this will take a moment, so I will be right back. Okay, so I've got the track completed. And I was just messing around with this minecart and... Well, boat and a minecart mechanic. And I am... It is... It is weird. Why am I going... Oh, is it dependent on where the boat is facing? So I'm facing this way, but going backwards right now is what you're telling me. Now this is fun. Yeah, we're just gonna make our way over there and we're gonna just transport some villagers and then, and then we're gonna put them in a hall. And I don't know what this hall is gonna look like yet. I haven't designed one. I'm gonna just put it together and whatever it is is whatever it is. So, and after a lot of work, we've got five villagers in their minecarts all ready to go. Hopefully I can get this right. So I need to keep these on. So I'll just put this here. And then I think all I've got to do after that is put in the minecart furnace, power that thing fully up. And it's going the wrong way. Which is there is it directional? I'm like, what did I do? Okay, if I do that, which way does it go? There we go. So this guy I believe will push them all the way over there and I'm just gonna start walking. That was a success. Now I don't really know what to do with these guys right now, so I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna kinda cage them in so they don't die. Okay, they should be safe in there, and now I think actually I think I'm gonna let them all out. Because I need these minecarts to go pick up the next batch. And we are back for round number two of villagers. This should be interesting. But my minecart should be coming over that hill just about now. Yeah, there it is. That's what I thought. I knew what I was talking about. And now we just have to go find more villagers. So, yeah, this is this is the fun part. Oh, there's many villagers in here. Okay. Um I think that's why I trapped them in here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's already 3 villagers down. I am quite pleased with this. Here's my silk touch villager. There he is. Okay. I'm going to move you by boat because I don't feel like having to do anything else. So, there we go. See, this isn't this isn't too bad. This isn't that bad, right? Okay, everybody, I think that's it. I think we've got the last of them. So there only ended up being around nine, but that'll be plenty to get a, a villager breeder and anything else we might need. We are on our way, everybody. This is the last batch of villagers, and then I will be finally ready to make our all. If I would stop going the wrong way. And done. So, without further ado, everybody, we're going to get right into this time lapse where we are going to be building ourselves our very first villager trading hall. We're just kind of going to go with flow, and whatever happens, happens. So, here we go in three, two, one. Well, everybody, I think we can pretty confidently say that this was a major success. I really like the whole interior and exterior. I love the glass in the top, and I believe we have some, somewhat around 30 spaces for all the villagers, which I think that should be enough. But yeah, it's pretty well lit, and it's it, it, it just does its job. It's just meant to be a housing space for, for villagers. And even though you might have thought that I was going to put villagers in here, and trust me, I did too, uh, I'm not doing that this episode. I'm a little bit worn out. I've been working harder on this episode, and it's it's been around two weeks since my last one. People are asking me, like, dude, you're going to upload? And I'm like, yeah, I'm working on it. So uh, these guys are going to have to wait because I just I just can't right now. I can't, I can't deal with them. I am running very, very low on patience, very low on time. So we're just going to be wrapping this up very, very quickly. But before we actually go, before we go, I have one thing that I would like to do first. You might actually already know what this is. But if we can make our way up to our storage area, there should be a name tag. There it is. A name tag right up here. And, of course, I got to give it to my OG, my OG Rupert here. So we go Rupert. 
There we go. And done. There is there is Rupert with his name. He is officially named, and we shall never have to worry about forgetting it in case we don't see him in a very long time. I would never leave you, buddy. But yeah, I'd say overall this was a very successful episode. We got we got an entire farm made out here. Like, I mean, look at that thing. There's I, I should I should be harvesting it right now. But we got an entire farm made. We got our villager hall made for you know ready to be filled. I don't know when I'm gonna do that uh, sometime. I've got too much to do. I did find a skeleton spawner down there, so that is another thing I have to do. Man, can you see how much of a struggle it is to do this kind of series? Because I have, I have so many things I could be doing right now, and I don't know which ones to do, so I'm a little bit lost. We've gotten so much done, even though this has been a shorter episode. And I mean, that's what I was. That, oh, that was weird. I, I, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make them a little bit shorter so that people don't get bored and don't click off halfway through but uh and with that we are done with this video so thank you guys ever so much for watching if you did actually enjoy and i'm gonna try not to do this too often because some people some people get annoyed i know i've been there some some people make it annoying but if you guys did enjoy please feel free to leave a like or a comment or subscribe that'd be that'd be very nice even better would be subscribing and coming back to the next video because really our videos can only get better from here on out so <laughs> you, you might want to stick around to see where that goes. Anyway, thank you all for being here, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.